Are you saying that I don't feel good? Hello, YouTube. We have Brandon. And you got top eight today playing the Brave <laughs> Phantom Knight, right? Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. How many cards is your main deck? 40. 40. And this was a case switch tournament, by the way. Case switch so tournament. It was a big tourney today. Yeah, like, uh, deck was super, super solid. I lost in top eight because game three, Philander Respire went first, but he had Feather Swarm. If it wasn't for the Feather Swarm, I killed him, but, you know, trap cards are crazy. Yeah. And then uh, how many cards is the main deck? Uh, 40. Okay. For the main deck. All right, go ahead and start it. Uh, it's obviously Brave Engine. Uh, there's nothing like, I'm not, I don't do like the uh, adjust ratios of these cards. So it's the nine cards, uh, super, super solid. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, they're just crazy, dude. Uh, yeah, they did their job, obviously. Uh, with the PK lineup, it's the same. Um, you see two level threes, and somehow to get to right, you probably just win the game. Um, so yeah, these are obviously, this is the lineup. I don't think it's really different from others. Uh, for extenders, I played these. Um, these are like okay, but like you kind of have to sometimes like. I say they're okay in the sense that like these just by themselves like don't allow you to do like too too much. So you kind of want to open them up with these. Uh, but like I think they're kind of like a necessary evil to play because like, I would prefer to play like more like blowout cards, but you know, gotta have to you know make chair beanie sometimes. Um, scythe, scythe to scythe. Uh, you know it does its job. Uh, honestly though. For today's tourney, after today, I really, really want to main Alantia for the Dagda. Uh, just because, like, so much banishing came up today. Uh, when I went, they, I would do this to them, but they would still try to banish and, like, try to build a board. Or sometimes they'd have an answer to this. So it's like, if you can do both, like, putting both of these on them, like, like games two or three is so much pressure. And it makes it so much harder. Because they more often than not, they can deal with one, but they can't deal with the other. So it's like so broken doing that. Um, and then of course, DPE package. Uh, you know, it's DPE. Nothing really to say about that. Uh, for spells, one ofs, wrote up, call by Foolish Reborn, just four crazy one ofs, no reason not to play them. Uh, Droplet, best card, pretty much the best card in the deck, honestly. And then for the traps, it was just three fog blade, one wings. Um, Burgundine came up only once, and it was the most like awkward hand ever that like only happens probably once a like case journey. So, uh, and even then, it's not like it came up to where I lost the game. It was just my opponent's board was so good, but my hand was so awkward. Like if it wasn't for the fact that he messed up, then like I would have lost regardless. But you know, we got that game, and that was a main deck. Uh, for the extra, uh, so Amraj, Link Spider. I still like I like Amraj. Still, I think it's like something I'll, I'll continue playing um, for sure, for sure. And then Link Spider, Link Spider to make Verte with the DPE. Uh, yes, Modern Mermaids will be. Cherubini, uh, Rusty, uh, you know, classic combo for the PK strategy. Dagda, this card is really absurd, especially post game one. It's like you think for Scythe, it's like it's actually crazy just with Lancia. Because you'll like, you know, you'll set the side and be like, okay, I can deal with the side. And you're like, all right, cool, now I'll set Lancia because I'm going to just keep this there. And it always shocks him every time. Um, and then Dark, Dark is Dark, uh, card's crazy when it works. Uh, Phoenix, Unicorn, Boral Sword. Um, Phoenix was really good. I cut IP. Uh, I was really scared of uh, Super Poly. And IP didn't fix that problem because I still had the two Darks. So to solve the Super Poly problem, I would just go into these two. And then I would just pop the Verte and something back in the standby so they can't super poly me. Um, plus, like, Phoenix just kept coming up over the week with locals. So, and I was like, I just wasn't making IP as much anymore because I guess of the PTSD. Uh, Levier, Freak Sword, Downer, Zeus. Uh, Zeus is, was crazy all day whenever I summoned it. I won the game every time. And that was it for the extra deck. Uh, for side deck. Three Gamma, one Driver. Uh, gamma was crazy. Uh, three Droll, three Lancia. These cards put in the work. When they worked, um, Droll was actually pretty nuts because there was like a couple Flounderies matchups, and like when I, in Swiss I played two Flounderies, two Prank Kids, and one DDD. The DDD matchup was the most preferable because the other four matchups were like I don't know, I just don't like playing against either. Um, so these like put in the work for especially against like Flounderies. These were crazy. And then three Twin because uh, I don't like playing against trap cards, Harpies, and Reboot for that same reason. Nice. Huh? All right, well congratulations on your top eight today. Uh, any shout-outs, Brandon? Yeah, there's a couple shout-outs, actually. Uh, so, first and foremost, shout-outs to Team Flashback. Uh, if you're ever in San Antonio, Texas, please, please, please go check out Flashback Gaming over at the Wonderland Malls of America. Um, shout-out to SA, everybody who was here today. Uh, you know, had a good, you know, tourney with everyone. Uh, shout-outs to SA friends. Shout-outs to Top Deck Scrubs, of course. Shout-out to Eric and his forehead. And... 
Other than that, yeah, shout out to EJ too. All right, well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you.